Well, hello once again, all my very valuable uh, YouTubers, and welcome back to my classic dirt bike video channel. Now, in this featured uh, clip, we are going to take a look at a British classic that actually uh, belonged to the late, great uh, Vic Eastwood. So we're going to take a look at one of Vic Eastwood's classic works racing CCMs from 19. 75. So in this video it's not so much as a tribute to the great man as uh, just a very brief look at one of Vic Eastwood's historic race bikes. Now these particular pictures were just a few I captured at the 2015 Kendall Classic Nostalgia Scramble now this was just soon after this particular bike had just been through the Rod Spry workshop for a full uh, motorcycle uh, makeover. Now this particular frame was designated VE number 3 and this was Vic's first 1975 bike from the Alan Clues workshop in Bolton. Now, of course, although this frame has been chrome plated, later in the season, these frames would then have been painted fully black. Now, they say that uh, Vic Eastwood had four of these 1975 bikes at his disposal. And, uh, of course, Vic just missed out winning the British Championship that very same year on one of these uh, iconic machines. Now, of course, it's just been recently that we have uh, heard of the passing of the great British motocross legend at the age of 78. And these 1975 bikes that Vic raced for the CCM factory were among some of the best machines he ever took to a racetrack. Now when I managed to get these pictures, uh, Rod Spry actually had just finished restoring this bike for a customer and uh, as far as I know that this particular piece of British history is now in Australia of all places. But of course for me, I'll never forget those days of the winter scrambles on the BBC watching Vic and the likes of uh, Dave Bickers and Alan Clough uh, strutting their stuff through those uh, very deep, rutted, muddy tracks in the UK. But of course, uh, Vic Eastwood was one of Scrambling's greats during the 1960s and uh, who was actually placed fourth on a works BSA in the 1965 World 500cc Championships. Of course many people say that uh, Vic was a hard and demanding rider who was always looking to improve and make changes to his race bikes almost every week in uh, some cases. Now Vic would get things like uh, headstock angles, engine angles and even engine modifications carried out by the Alan Clues workshop as he was constantly trying to make the bike that little bit better to ride. But it was Vic Eastwood's actual input and his constant upgrading that really put CCM up among the top manufacturers of the day. Now of course other people say that John Banks, who of course also rode for CCM, uh, they say that John just rode whichever bike he was given by the factory. But there's also a very nice uh, story, or possibly even just a rumour, that there was a little bit of dig between uh, John Banks and Vic Eastwood. And it's alleged that uh, one time Vic went into the factory and swapped engines with John Banks' bike because he believed <laughs> that CCM had given Banks a much faster motor. But of course, uh, <laughs> that's the story, so whether it's true or not, uh, just uh, make up your own mind. But of course CCM 
built some uh, beautiful uh, motocross race bikes and many of them were very good machines and some people would argue that these 1975 machines that uh, Vic Eastwood rode back in the day were some of the best uh, motocross machines that the Alan Clues workshop ever produced. Of course uh, Vic Eastwood came from a motorcycle family as his father had uh, competed at the Isle of Man in the early 1950s and uh, Vic also followed in his father's footsteps and rose to prominence in the 1960s winning the motocross the nations in 1965, 66 and 1967 with teammates including uh, Arthur Lampkin, Jeff Smith, Dave Bickers and of course the famous Derek Rickman and Vic was also fourth in the 1965 FIM 500 World Championship on a BSA. Of course it looked like uh, Vic Eastwood was on his way to winning the 500cc World Championship in 1969 until he of course then unfortunately broke his leg at the Hoxton BBC Grandstand TV event uh, that same year. And of course Vic Eastwood rode many different makes and models of machines throughout his career including Matchless and uh, these CCMs and uh, people will also still remember the aluminium framed Hagen Suzuki RM370s that uh, Vic used to ride to great successes uh, back in the day. But these uh, 1975 uh, Vic Eastwood uh, CCMs have uh, all the period correct parts on it and uh, Rod Spry as well you know uh, when Rod puts a bike together it's uh, always as authentic as possible and uh, this bike still retains many of the works parts that uh, Vic uh, used during his uh, career as a CCM uh, factory works rider. Although I was very fortunate to grab these pictures of this uh, iconic bike when it was wheeled out at the 2015 Nostalgia Scramble. Now this uh, lucky person here, this is uh, Phil Wadsworth, this is a friend of Rod Spry, who was a lucky man who got the chance to take this uh, iconic machine around the track at the 2015 Nostalgia Scramble, so uh, Phil was a very lucky man indeed getting his chance to take this uh, iconic piece of British motorcycling history for a twist around the Kendall Classic Nostalgia Scramble. And there we have the bike builder there, Mr Rod Spry himself, uh, talking to some interested parties who were uh, getting a bit of the background of the history of this uh, fantastic machine. Now I'd like to have shown you some actual pictures of Vic uh, Eastwood in action, although unfortunately I don't have any in my particular library, so apologies for that. Uh, mind you, I could have uh, borrowed a few off the internet, but uh, that's not my style and I don't like using uh, other people's content, so that's just how it is. But nevertheless, it's still an iconic piece of uh, British motocross history. This uh, works 1975 CCM, belonging of course to the great but late uh, Vic Eastwood. But of course, during his long and glorious motocross racing career, Vic also went on to help develop other British motocross manufacturers machines including this uh, AGIS 500 prototype which he helped develop in 1972. Of course the bike was then 
scrapped at the end of 1972, although Vic always thought that this bike had potential. And if you'd like to learn more about this machine, I will leave a link in the description box below this particular video. So thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this uh, Vic Eastwood 1975 Works CCM. This video was brought to you in association with 12 Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website or give them a call for more details.